Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at TechTrader.com. It's Tuesday, August the 9th. These are the charts of the day. It wasn't a great day on Wall Street, but a lot of stocks we followed did well. Let's take a look at some of them. Here's a swing trade, the AEA chart, which exploded, wedged, and then exploded again. Take a look at this. It's up 11 days in a row. It's gone from where we recommended it somewhere, I think it was around the 10 and change, but I have to double check. It's now as high as 1689 today, finishing. 16.30 or trading there after hours. That's up $1.36 or almost 9% today. Just based on this angle, if we, momentum continues, we may see high teens. Careful though. AERC pop finally. Look at this explosive move in June when it went from literally $2 to as high as 24. I think the high was 23.70 right there. Came down, bounced around coil, but then broke down. It's in a very steady declining channel for four weeks. Big engulfing reversal bar today. Look at this one. 375 to 773, trading 685 after hours up 230. That's a 51% gain. It merely traded 50 million, huge volume for that stock, and probably reversed it. The targets going forward are eight and a half and ten and a half. ARRY in a solar sector with a perfect inverse head and shoulder breakout, wedge, pop, engulfing reversal bar today. My target now 27. The retest in November highs. ABDL, we spotted this one a couple months ago when it popped in coil, but look at that pop in another coil. Fifth wave's underway, but this morning's pullback tested the breakout point and then exploded from 522 to 763. Finished at seven even, or this trading after hours at seven, up 69 cents, 11%. The target is eight. AXSM, a really strong year long base pattern. Maybe um, about to be broke. Key, key resistance, 47 and a quarter and a half. We close at 44.70 with a high at 40, near, near 47. Watch this one carefully. A breakout here could get you to mid 50s and low to mid 60s. Strongest stock in the coal sector happens to be Consolidated Energy, which has gone in a year and a half from three and a half to 64, nearly 20 fold. Today's action shows another 386 or six and a half percent. More importantly, after breaking the double top and retesting the moving averages, it seems to be ready to go again. Above 66, I'm looking at low to mid 70s or more, maybe higher. For solar, massive breakaway gap, beautiful flag or wedge for about five days, another pop and breakaway. It filled that gap today and then rebounded and closed right up near the high of the session. I think momentum is very strong in this one. Right now, I'm looking for a test of the November high from last year, about 123.4 zone. That's my target. MRSN, long downtrend, breakout, moving averages crossed over, it consolidated and platformed. Had a big breakaway gap today, going from uh, an opening at six to highest high 748. 692 at last, up 167 to 32%. Buying picked up to 16 million. Haven't seen that since May or June of 20. So it's a two year volume high and a breakout. Next target. $8. MYOV broke out of a base last few days and today backed up. I'll take a look at a reversal and it looks to me like it's going higher. Although it might be at the top of a channel near here where there's resistance, it would be right there. And he moved through here, we could probably see 19 or 20. Keep an eye on this one. NEO, long downtrend, moved from the low 50s down to seven, formed a base over several months, broke out and then wedged. You can see the pop and strong move today. 1035 to 1210, finished 1185 up 162. That's 15.8 percent gain on five million. I put a swing on it when it pulled back midday. I think it was about 11 and change. I'll have to check on it. But the bottom line is my targets are now 14 and 18. Occidental Petroleum still in play. Is Warren Buffett buys this like he's a kid in the candy shop. Another. You know, $100 million worth of stock. I'm not sure what he owns now, but Wall Street likes it, of course. Big coil forming, as you can see, if we break out of this coil, particularly above 66.7, you might see low 70s again, possibly my longer term target mid 80s. PLRX with a massive explosive breakaway gap a month ago, followed by a, a four week coil, has broken back out again. Retesting the high here at 23 is your next target, followed by 27. Pubmatic. Well, we haven't seen this stock do very well all year. I mean, having dropped from the 70s 
the mid teens, but the base that broke out, and today was a big breakaway move. Finishing up 433 at 24% on 3.2 million is the biggest volume on an update that we've seen since November of last year. It looks like breakaway volume, breakaway gap, moving averages crossing over. This one looks good. There's some resistance just ahead of 23. Then I'm targeting 24 and three quarters and 26 and three quarters. Rhythm Pharmaceuticals, one of the best swings all year, has literally exploded from 471 on July the 12th to 24.44, a six-fold increase in less than a month. Outstanding, overbought, at resistance. I suggest peeling back here. Siga, engulfing bar today with a 41 cent gain, only a couple percent. But we've got to keep an eye on this one because if today's high of 24.40 is taken out, this could surge to the high 20s on momentum alone. S wave, well, you can see after a big, big run up, it took almost a year of going sideways back and filling. But today's breakaway gap at a pop of 38 points had it up 17%. We did a day trade on that one. It looks like a big breakaway from the new all time highs in this market. Wouldn't be surprised to see it lead to 300 short term. And TCDA also a breakout and a swing to, a swing for the tick traders. Now looking for about 16 and a half, 17 zone for my next major goal. That's it for the charts of the day webinar for, uh, for today. This is HP signing off. Have a great evening.